Yo guys, welcome back to your baby PDCGO Chilling Rain video. Today, guys, we're taking a look at the brand new Blissey V today. This card is pretty insane, and uh, I like it quite a bit. It might be one of the stronger Vs in the set. Got the attack Blissful Blast for a single colorless energy. You can do 10 plus 30 more damage for each energy on this Pokemon. And if you do any damage with this attack, you can actually attach up to three energies from your discard pile to this Pokemon. And this does include any energy, including special energy. So this attack is very powerful. I am going to be playing it today with Porygon Z to put energy onto Blissey. Um, but Blissful Blast can carry itself too. Of course, if you go second, you can go with an early Blissful Blast. If you play a Research or Dedenne and happen to get a couple special energy in the discard pile, you can get some of that back with Blissful Blast. So we can still power up Blissey pretty easily, making it a little bit less awkward if we do happen to whiff the Rare Candy Porygon Z. So I think this card is pretty strong. It's also a basic... 250 HP Pokemon that can use Cave of Toughness, which can then give it 300 HP. So a 300 HP Pokemon that threatens one-shots, racks energy up pretty quickly with Blissful Blast. Pretty cool card, honestly. I like it quite a bit. And uh, this is the list I got. So before we get the video, guys, of course, show to the sponsor, Car Cabin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking to pick up any PCGO codes, get them over at Car Cabin. Car Cabin is selling Chilling Rain codes for the cheapest. So if you guys, again, are looking to pick up any Chilling Rain codes still to try to get all the new cards, get them over at Car Cabin. Car Cabin's got the Chilling Rain pack codes. They got the they got the Prelude's kick codes. They have some money cards in there, like the Inteleon and the Cinderace. Um, and of course, if you do get any codes over at Car Cabin at the checkout, you can use my discount code, code LDF, for a 5% discount on your purchase at the checkout. Help the channel, help yourself out, and help our Car Cabin. So big shout out to Car Cabin. Check them out and use code LDF if you get any codes. Um, also, if you want to check out the video articles I've been posting, make sure to go give them a watch. It'd be appreciated. All right, now let's take a look at the list here I've got. So, let's see the... Again, really strong card. It's like a better version of Cramer and VMAX, in my opinion, because it's not a stage one, and we'll see VMAX does just don't have to rely on coin flips. Um, now, there's a lot of special energy we can play in this deck. We got a brand new one called Lucky Energy. This card is actually really cool. Uh, when it's attached to your active Pokemon and that active Pokemon takes damage or gets knocked out, you can draw a card. That's very beneficial, especially in now that we're in a metagame where Marnie and Path of Peak becomes a very reliable um, way for your opponent to win the game by breaking you. Lucky energy can be very clutch to have. And honestly, I kind of want to play more luckies, but the other special energy are also equally as important. Capture energy is very good in the deck as it allows you to get basics in play, which is obviously relevant. Powerful energy lets you do more damage on top of doing more damage with Blissey. <laughs> Psych energy is also very good to get energy back. And weakness card is very relevant if you get paired against an Urshifu deck. However, I will say again, I want to play more Lucky Energy. And if I can find room, I definitely want to play more Lucky Energy. I think this card is actually kind of good in this deck. Some other cards I'm playing, of course, Cram in the deck. Uh, early game, beat catches can be good to try to get rid of any Porygon. But then we have Spit Shot to win the game on like a Dedenne. Um, we've got Crobat and two Dedenne in the deck for draw. I got the Skyla and the Rare Candies and uh, three Marnie for Research Immune in the deck. Just pretty straightforward stuff. Four Calm, four Quick Ball. One reset stamp to try to lower the opponent's hand size. Stamp Wonders Labyrinth is one of those plays we can try to pull off. Of course, we don't have to worry about Wonders Labyrinth too much when we're putting like a jillion energy on Blissey anyway. So Wonders Labyrinth usually is not too big of a deal for us. We can't use it early on if we try to go Blissey because one energy won't attack. So we have to be a little careful. But if we save it for the late game, uh, Lab Stamp can be very powerful. Also, we need Counter Stadiums for Path of Peak. So I am playing a Swell to help us out with Path of Peak too because it does shut off the Danny and Crobat. And that can be crucial sometimes. So that's why I also want to play more Lucky Energy, because Path the Peak can shut us off. But I got the Swell. And honestly, I want to play more Swell in the deck. I think this deck might need another Stadium, just for Path the Peak. Got one boss in the deck. I can't find room for a second one, unfortunately. And I am playing 16 Energy. I mean, we just got to play a ton of Energy in the deck for Blissey, obviously. And honestly, again, if you can find room for more Energy, add even more. Again, more Lucky Energy could go a long way. Uh, but that's the list I got here. A lot of fun to play. Blissey's pretty damn insane, not gonna lie. This card might have potential. Let's go try it out and see an action and hopefully get some dubs. Okay, here we go into the first match with Blissey V. And we've lost the coin flip. That's fine. We'll see what we're playing against. Looks like it's just Eternatus potentially, which, I mean, we'll see if we can beat. Uh, we get a Mew and a Porygon Star. We'll open it up with Mew here. Go from there. Not a bad hand. We can go uh, Quick Ball for Dedenne and Blissey probably. No, oh, no, my opponent flips over a Zacian. So we're actually playing against a Zacian deck. Not Eternatus. Might be ADP even, which could be pretty bad if it's ADP. And especially if we don't get it like a turn two Blissey knockout, which is unlikely. So we'll have to see what it is. Um, looks like it's just Zacian though. There's Intrepid Sword. Do they hit any energy here? They get one. That's fine. All right. What do we draw? Ooh, there's the Dene. Hmm. Hmm. So... We could hold the hand and get a Porygon Z next turn. 
If we don't get Marnied, we do have Porygon Z. And if we hold the Quick Ball in our hand, we can grab a Dedene. I do want to get the Porygon down as soon as possible. I'm actually very tempted here to hold the hand and go for it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just side power the active. They only got one energy. If they got two energy, I would have played more aggressive, but I don't think they're going to be able to knock me out next turn. And as long as we don't get Marnied, I mean, we have the Porygon Z, so we might as well just go for it. Uh, my opponent puts an EXP shot on a Berserker. Sure. There's a Goon. And then that's going to make much of a difference here. As long as they can't power this thing up in one turn, which I don't think they can. They can attach for turn. Um, I don't think they play Metal Saucer E-Switch, so we should be safe. All right, no Marnie. So we should be able to get the Porygon Z in play then and go from there. Oh, they do play E-Switch. So it is an ADP deck. Bit of a weird list, though. ADP with Rushing Hammers, Galarian Berserker, and a Goon for some reason. That's kind of sus. Hmm. Okay, what do we top deck? Research? All right, even... Well, actually, it's not good because we have the rare candy. So let's Skyla for rare candy. I mean, they probably have a boss in their hand, though, to be fair. Our Porygon might be a goner anyways, but that's fine. Let's go get Porygon Z. Got the Blissies in the deck. Most of the energy's all in there. But the gang's all here, I guess. Um... So, we'll get Blissey. I think we will sack this Recycle. I mean, we have so much energy in the deck. We should be able to find an energy. Well, no. We can Recycle. This will go back to our hand. Never mind. Yeah, we can retreat into Blissey. Blissey can... Well, Blissey will get one shot unless we get a cape on. Hmm. We have to get a cape here. I'm committed to this play. We have to get a cape. We can do Crobat and then Dedenne. Here we go. What are we looking at here? Oh, we got no cape of toughness. Rip. We got no cape. Get another blissey, I guess. I mean, not much we can do. We can hit him super hard, but yeah, not not good. We didn't get a cape. We also didn't get a way to get to Dene. How much are we doing? 170 damage. We were one energy short of KOing. There's Zacian here. I mean, we're not going to have Mew next turn, I guess, which will have to be the play. Just KO them with Mew here. So they will unfortunately KO me because of the Berserkers. <laughs> sure. And then we can go with another Blissey the following. Well, we could actually just knock him out Blissey. We could just go knock out Blissey, build the energy back up. Like, you go through one Blissey, it's like, okay, well, I'm going to knock you out my next Blissey, and then you have to go through that. Um, If we can draw an energy, we can go with that Blissey play, so we'll have to see. Bruh, the EXP shares. Okay, we really need to get a cape on the Blissey here, so we can protect it from being one shot. This is a very weird Zacian list. I have no idea why this list is like this. All right, there's a Brave Blade. Unfortunately, killing my Blissey. I don't know what Blissey ever did to you, bro. Come on, bro. How are you going to do that to Blissey? All right. Um, well, we got to hope for a top deck here. Do we draw? Okay, so we can take a knockout Blissey, which I actually think is probably the better play because now if we just knock him out Blissey, it's like, well... They can potentially KO me, but they would need a lot of stuff. Well, they haven't played a Saucer yet, but they're down to Switch, so. And we have to start building up the energy on the Blissey at some point, so I actually do like just going with the Blissey play here. Hopefully this pays off. KO the Mew might have been correct in all fairness, but if we just take the Blissful Blast knockout, it's like we build the energy right back up on our Blissey, which is what we're trying to do. So I think this is fine, you know? Then we can threaten the Zacian next turn if we can get any good prizes. So I think it was a correct to go Blissey here. We you get a cape on, we should be fine. Uh, well, they have the goon in their hand, two Berserkers. But we get 300 HP. There's another Blissey. Okay, we got another Porygon in play, but we really need a supporter or a draw card. If we don't get one of those, we might just lose. We have no lucky energy on Blissey either. Path of the Peak... Okay, wow. Well, now they can't do their own Intrepid Swords. So that kind of hurts them. I mean, now we can't play Dedenne, though. Um, are, what? They had an E-Switch, bro? No, dude. So now I should have just went Mew. They play an E-Switch. They actually managed to find it. I mean, they still can't play Dedenne. They don't have an energy in their hand. They can't do anything. So hopefully they get punished here and they have no energy in their hand. That'd be great. No energy or supporter would be perfect. 
to be fair though we're not in any of a better spot we need to get a top deck here like asap we need a top deck they have one card in their hand will it be an energy it's a switch okay nice and they're still in top deck mode they path of the peak themselves so now they can't play their own zation um and there's a research finally we did draw out of it this means uh you know bench this this means we are now in session to try to find ourselves cape of toughness which we do find and we get more energy which is also pretty good we don't need to put too much energy on so we'll save one recycle energy and just go blissful blast we have boss in hand next turn 300 damage with blissey we can put even more energy oh my god this is actually insane bro there's a reset stamp let's see what they draw here um, even if they draw an energy we're surviving the turn thanks to the cape of toughness and uh, we'll see if my opponent's able to come back from this. Because I think at this point, we've won the game. Okay, they drew a boss. This is why I held the Recycle Energy. Um, okay, but they do boss Porygon. Okay. This is why I was, like, maybe skeptical of attaching two energy. Never mind. I was like, oh, is it worth it to put two energy on? But look at that. The game just is like, all right, here you go. Have a have a capture energy. And the best part about getting rid of the capture energy, it ain't gone. It ain't gone forever because it's just going to go right back into play we're gonna blissful blast again for a ton of damage 330 damage almost knocking out eternity's v max and we're gonna put another energy on blissey and now we're doing 360 damage with blissey this thing just kept racking up energy and there we go my opponent oops the game if my opponent didn't put that path of peak in play we probably would have lost the game to be honest with you um because like they didn't they just locked themselves from being able to intrepid sword um but we'll take it all right here we go getting into Another match with Blissey. We've lost the coin flip. Now, going second is fine with this deck because going first means we can maybe get turn two Porygon going on our next turn. Or if we go second, we can put a bunch of energy in the discard pile and then attack with Blissey. So there's actually benefits to going first and second with this deck, which is what I like about it. Um, okay, so it looks like my opponent will choose to go first. So we maybe get a turn one Blissey. Never mind. We get a both a Krabenda Dene. It doesn't really matter what I start with, does it? I'll start with the Denny because we can at least play Crobat and we can just research this is why I do play four Blissey in the deck because I don't want to start with the Denny or Crobat but here we are okay Horror House uh oh good thing we're not going first we could have gotten cheesed Ooh, now we can't play Air Balloon so now we're not gonna be able to attack the Gengar Mimikyu with Blissey this turn that's what I was hoping we would be able to do is attack this with Blissey but it's not gonna happen now that's annoying Looks like it's just like a Psychic Mewtwo box. We'll see if they're playing Shadow Rider. Yeah, the Tool Jammer is pretty annoying, not going to lie. Um, the Welder Mewtwo deck. Well, they are down two Welders now, which is fantastic. It sucks we had a server to Nene, though. Yeah, let's just Quick Ball or Blissey. Um, Ape It. Calm. Probably for a Porygon, to be honest. Yeah, Porygon seems pretty good. Yeah, three candies. We'd have a swell and a wondrous labyrinth in the deck, so those could be things we're looking for. Now, where do we put the recycle energy? Is the question. We can discard it for Blissey. Sure. I'm fine with that. We're not gonna be able to. We're not gonna retreat this turn. There's no reason to. Yeah, capture energy is what I was looking for. Play that down. Or to get another Porygon, to be honest. Actually, we should have got another Blissey and put a cape on it. Uh, we could get knocked by Horror House or Poltergeist. Well, maybe not. They can't do... Never mind. They can't Poltergeist me. Let's pass. We have our candy in our hands. So we'll see if we can draw into a Porygon out here. If we don't get Porygon. We can just slap him with Blissey and then go from there, though, I guess. Which is fine. I wouldn't actually mind hitting this Gengar. Ooh, they do have uh, that Charizard. That's actually a bit of an issue. They can use Charizard to knock me out. Bruh, they have a Zapdos in the deck, too. Oh, they're going in. Okay, wow, they got rid of more Pokemon. That's not good. They are down a lot of supporters. Now they're down four supporters, five supporters, four draw supporters. A Rod? What, dude? Who plays Rod and Mewtwo, bro? What? That makes no sense. Zapdos is kind of annoying because now we can't really bench too many things. Okay, they don't have anything. That's pretty good. Um, so we can just retreat into Blissey. Now we can go for the Slaps. Um, we can do this. Giant Hearthway this for nothing. It's just Marnie them. We're looking at here. Okay, we got rare candy Porygon. Another Blissey too, which is really important. Uh, I guess we'll put the powerful energy on the active. I don't know though, because now we're in top deck mode. Um, 
think I'd rather save the power plunge if we get knocked out. How many switches they played? I haven't even played a switch yet. They're probably, we're probably going to get knocked out. So I think I'm going to save the power plunge for next turn. I don't think we need it just yet. So it was Blissful Blast them for 40 damage. Put all three energy back on. And we'll go from there. Yeah, they'll probably be able to KO me. Hmm. Maybe we can do next turn actually is retreat into the other Blissey because this way, I'd rather protect this Blissey with the cape on because they can one shot with, with that Charizard. So maybe we can make them knock out this guy with Charizard and then make them knock out this down the road. I don't know. The Zapdos can attack though. They can Welder to the Zapdos, I guess. The Zapdos is a little annoying, bro. All right, let's see. If we can knock out Gengar here, that'll be really good because we just got to knock Mewtwo to win the game, which is not too hard at all. Um... No, they got a Crobat off of that, and that's not good. They're drawing more cards. Hopefully, we can draw something soon. We are we're in a pretty bad spot because we are in top deck mode. So, we, hopefully, we can draw something. They are bench locked currently, though, so that's good. They can't do anything else with their hand. So, if they have a switch, they have a switch. Okay, they had a research, though. They do lose another stamp, which is good. That's our third research. Okay, they didn't get anything. So, we can knock out this Gengar Mimikyu. There's a Swell. That's a nice top deck. We'll put that in play. How many energy are they down? Ooh, they're down five. That actually might be relevant. Um, so how much are we doing here? Let me do some quick math. 40, 70, 100, 130. Do we not have a KO? We put the powerful energy on. I don't know if that's KOing them. We'll put it on anyways, I think, just in case. Oh, well, we could retreat still. I still kind of like just retreating. What attack do they have that can KO me in one hit? They don't really have anything. They have to... The only way to one-shot this Blissey with Mewtwo, they'd have to go with the uh, Charizard. But I'd rather keep the cape on. So retreating another Blissey actually isn't terrible here to protect the cape. We can just Porygon Z, the damage back on. I don't think we're KOing them, right? Because we're only doing 40, 70, 100, 130, 70, 190. We're 10 damage short, I think. So let's just retreat. Yeah, let's do the retreat play. I kind of like this. I'm fine with retreating. Because we can protect the cape, right? They can't one-shot this other Blissey as easily. And we're not one-shotting the Gengar Mimikyu anyway, so we don't really have to go too ham. I guess we could have put damage on it to be KO'd by Mew, though, which would have been pretty good. Um, well, yeah, let's just do this. Because, again, this Mewtwo... I'd, I'd rather them waste their Flare Blitz on a Blissey without a cape on than with a Blissey with a cape on, if that makes any sense. I mean, we might just get smoked by the Zapdos anyways. We'll see. Hopefully we can drop something soon, though. Another welder here. They might have the welder to the Gengar to retreat it. No, they're still going Mewtwo. Will they finally get a switch? They have eight cards left in their deck. Three to Dene. Jeez, my opponent's going all in. All right, do they find anything here? I wonder if they're going to... If they Horror House me, that's actually real. I mean, there's no way they're going to Horror House me, right? Okay, yeah. Nice, we got a knockout. They have no switch. Um, We got a bunch of prizes, which is good. This hopefully gives us some supporters to work with. And there we go. We take down the Gengar Mimikyu. Let's take our prizes here. We get anything good? We get a rare candy. Not very good. That's okay. That's okay. That's decent. I mean, the lucky energy would have been nice to have on earlier because that could draw us a card. Um, They are down two stamps. I don't think we're getting stamped anytime soon. We'll see if they KO me here. The only way they can knock me out is they have to do... They have to do the... They have to do Charizard GX. Okay, they have Naganadel too. They play... Okay, that's a lot of stuff in this deck. They have Lopuff, Jirachi, Ornay Rod... Reset Stamp, Zapdos, 3 Dene, Naganadel, Marshadow, like, my man, and somehow my opponent managed, and all the supporters, somehow my opponent managed to fit all those cards in one deck. I applaud the hustle. So they did have the GX to KO me there, which is really good, so that's what I was hoping they would do. What do we top deck? There we go, nice, we got another research. Okay, we might actually just win this turn if we get lucky enough. Um, let's retreat into Blissey. Well, to be fair, we could walk into an Outrage knockout by my opponent, but if we just get another Blissey down, it's game over anyways. We could also get a Cramorant play potentially, right? Do we have Cram? Yeah. Still have Cram. Research. I mean, we might just win this turn. We'll see. Ooh, holy smokes. Now, let's just... We're putting all the eggs in the basket, folks. We're doing it. I think this is a knockout. I'm pretty sure that this should be a KO. There's no way this is not a knockout. Find out, I guess. Here we go. Blissful Blast. It's a knockout. Just enough, too. Let's go, Blissey. We beat a Mewtwo deck. Easy peasy. Oh, my God. That was insane. We got, we just got a buttload of energy there off of that research. And there we go. We won the game. We beat a Mewtwo deck. 
I mean, that things could have gone really bad there. They had Zapdos in the deck. Um, but uh, yeah, we managed to beat my opponent with uh, some Blissey action. Okay, here we go. Uh, what could we get Shadow Rider here? Judging from my opponent had in their uh, stuff here. Ooh, you know what, though? If they're playing Shadow Rider, we auto lose because we can't play Special Energy against them. That could actually prove to be a problem. We'll see if that ends up happening. If we can attack with Blissey, though, maybe we don't have to worry about it. We start with a Mew, though. At least we didn't start with Denier Crobat. We have a Capture Energy, which can get us Blissey, which we're going to have to play. Yeah, they're playing Shadow Rider. That Shadow Rider V's first attack actually completely bodies me, which is a little problematic. So we... The only way to beat him is to get Energy on Blissey. Okay, no, they're not playing it. They're playing Rapid Strike. We're going to Capture Energy for Blissey. Uh, do we have our weakness cards in the deck? We do. That's important. Okay. I have to retreat. I don't want to take the 60 damage from a Strafe, though. I think I'm just going to pass. I could have ballooned the Mew, to be honest, just in case, but we don't want to because we want to retreat with the energy, obviously, to uh, get back with uh, Blissey. Oh, no. Wait, it is a Shadow Rider? Wait, why are they playing Remorade and Shadow Rider? Oh. Oh, it's Dragapult. Okay, never mind. It is a Dragapult deck. They are not playing a Shadow Rider deck. I thought it was going to be Shadow Rider. But it's not. Okay, good thing we went first because... Them getting the energy on turn one would have been annoying. Actually, if we don't get Porygon Z in play soon, I mean, we might just get bodied by, unfortunately, Max Phantom. Aw, oh, they had a Marnie. Well, actually, it's not too bad. We keep up some resources. As long as Marnie doesn't give us anything terrible, we should be okay. If they put a Path of Peak in play, I'm going to be a little scared. We got a bunch of energy. That's not very good, though, unless we draw into a Dedenne out here. Hopefully, we can draw out of this. Come on, Marnie. Don't be doing this, me. Don't be doing this today. No, they got the path to peak, bro. Dang it. Off their Marnie to four. Now we're going to find a stadium or a supporter. Oh, they kill my Mew actually too. That I, it doesn't matter, I guess, but that's, you know, is what it is. Wouldn't have mattered anyways if they killed me or not, to be honest. Um, not good. Not good. All right, what do we top deck? More energy. We can't discard it, which is unfortunate. I'm just going to put the Powerful Energy on and just Blissful Blast. I'm not going to bother playing the Capture Energy. Uh, I guess we maybe should have, but I, I want to make sure we get a Powerful Energy on too. Uh, that just sucks, bro. The Marnie gave us a dead hand. Can't even do anything because of the Path of the Peak. So this game's probably going to be over in a few turns if we don't draw anything here, most likely. Well, maybe not. Dragapult can't two-shot my Blissey. No, it can't two-shot my Blissey. Never mind. Yeah, the game's just over in like two turns if we don't draw anything. As expected. There's the VMAX. They have the Energy in their hand. Yeah. See if we get a better hand here. I mean, if we don't draw something, this game is just ultimately over. I mean, we could put a capture G on and get another basic down. I don't know. There's really, I don't even think there's a point of doing that. <laughs> there's Urshifu. We don't have Mew anymore, so Rapid Flow won't let me use my Porygon Zs. So, it's not looking very good. Um, looks like they do have a dead hand, though, themselves, which is okay, but it's not helping my case because we are dead drawing. We are dead drawing, and that is very good. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have to capture G, or hopefully not even... Eh, cape actually wouldn't be bad. Nope. No chance. We're going to have to get another Blissey here. Well, we could go Cramory and then do B-Catch, I guess. That might actually have to be the play. Yeah, that might have to be the play. I don't think it matters too much, though. We can't do B-Catch this turn. Let me get knocked out. They hit me for 50 on the bench. We have 150 HP left. And I guess we can't get knocked out by Max Phantom or Urshifu. Without a Porygon, though, getting this doesn't matter. We can capture each Porygon, though. I don't know. Let's see if this pays off. I guess we have to go Cramorant. I can't think of any other play I have to stay in this game. We could have went with another Blissey, I guess. But we're already going to take 50 damage and the cape gets negated. I don't know. I think Cram has to be the play. We just got to pray they don't draw a supporter. That's not a Marnie anyways. We gotta pray they don't draw a supporter. I mean, they don't draw anything here. This could be pretty good. They do get two prizes though, but it's not guaranteed they'll get a supporter. All right, here we go. What do we top deck here? Will we draw out of this or will Marnie punish us for the long term? Okay. Let's get Blissey. Football for Porygon. In this event, we can go get Porygon, and then we can go Rare Candy Research. So maybe this actually isn't too bad. We'll see. 
Get rare candy Porygon. Rare candy research. Now we pray they uh, didn't draw into a Marnie off those three cards that they got in their hand or four cards. Will they have a Marnie in their hand? Let's see. What are the chances? Very high because this game is PGCG, you know? So, very high chances. Um, oh, you know what we could do? If we can actually stick a Wondrous Labyrinth in play and attack with Blissey and knock him out, we might have a chance of winning. Um, sure. That's one more energy actually draw and do, which is useful. Well, I guess now Cram Camp. No, we have Recycle. Never mind. It doesn't matter. We have to pray that one Blissey can carry us. That's what we're praying for here. Okay, what do we top deck? Calm. So, hmm. I have a game plan. So let's recycle energy the active, obviously. Research. I'm looking for Wonders Labyrinth. I didn't get a Wonder. Ah, I barely got any energy. Oh my god. Wow, that's not good. Got like no energy off of that. Wow. So we are not KOing my opponent. We can stamp them the one next turn though. Stamp to one lab has to be the play, I think. That has to be what we try to go for. We can't do that when we can't play our friggin' Dedenes because we can't find supporters or stadiums. Yeah, okay, weak guard and uh, power energy. All right, here we go. We just pretty much pray they don't have a top deck here. That's unfortunate. Okay, they got the Urshfu. That's fine. We have weakness guard energy on. They have Fan of Waves, but they are down one of them so far. Okay, yeah, they're going to play it safe. Okay, fair play. Okay, they're going to rope me? Sure. And they could have had a boss. They could have had a boss in their hand too, I guess, to win. Hmm. I actually don't agree with this play by my opponent because now Blissey takes less damage. I don't know. Yeah, that I don't I don't agree with that escape rope, to be honest. I mean I guess they're they're but they can't rapid flow me. Hmm. Well they could have Mew in the deck, actually. We'll see. Honestly, we might just win with this one Blissey. Okay, we finally drew a swell. But we already have a KO. We can't put a lab in play anyway. So I think we're going to go stamp to one. And then knock out with Blissey. And go from there. And if they put another VMAX in play, we might just be able to win next turn anyways. So we can go like swell to Dene, try to dig for boss. We can't get knocked out by Urshifu as easily. We just got to pray stamp to one work. They path with this path to be in play. We got to hope that they are dead drawing off of my stamp to one. Now, four times... Recently, Stamp to One, to me, has done absolutely nothing. Oh, there's the lab. Okay, we have a fighting chance of winning this game. If they do not draw a supporter or into a Mew, what are the chances my reset Stamp to One with their 40-card deck with a Path of the Peak in play, will they draw into a card that can get them into a better hand to potentially win the game? What are the chances my Stamp to One stuck when they have a 40-card deck with a Path of the Peak in play? Here we go, folks. What are the chances Stamp to One actually did anything? I'm nervous. I'm very nervous. What are the chances Stamp to One worked here? Come on, let's see it. Okay, that's fine. No, it's not. No, did I stamp the one? Okay, I was about to say. I will stamp the one into an energy and everything. Oh my goodness. Okay. That's fine. That was very scary. Go here. Here. Go here. And we go to Dene. And we're just looking for boss's order to wrap this game up in a bow. Nope. No boss. Okay, well, we can't play the Marnie, obviously. So, not going to happen. Mm, we just put a bunch of energy on. We just keep praying that they don't win the game. Wonders Labyrinth puts me even more of a lock position. So, that's pretty good. Let's put the lucky energies on. Why not? Ah, it doesn't really matter. And then we just go Blissful Blast for a knockout. Very close to winning. We just needed boss's order and we would have had game, but that's fine. We'll take our prizes here. There's a Porygon and a Calm. So now they're still in top deck mode. And if they draw an energy, they cannot attack me because of the Wonders Labyrinth. So they can't do Gale Thrust or anything. So they can't try to win with like a Gale Thrust fan of waves if they draw into a research. Well played. Do we get it? Let's go, bro. Jeez, what a comeback. Whew. That was a that was a scary game, not gonna lie. I mean. I didn't think my, uh, I didn't think my, um, stamp the two was going to work. I was like, oh, I think I stamped them into my boss energy, but we got super lucky. Managed to beat the Urshifu Dragapult deck with, hey, here we go again in the match with Blissey. 
Um, by the way, if you are wondering why the LED lights were not on in today's video, because it stopped working, so I had to get a new pair, but they will be back tomorrow if you did miss the LED lights. But you know what? Black background, the dark back, yeah, the, the dark background looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, I do like it quite a bit. Um, all right, we get a Mew and a Porygon start. We're going second, so we'll start with Mew, I guess. We can quick ball. We could get a Porygon Z if we wait a turn. So that's tempting, especially because we aren't starting with a Blissey here. So maybe we could just hold on to the hand for a turn, but we are going first, which is the only problem. Okay, playing as a turn is VMAX. All right, this could be a... Nah, I don't think it's a tough matchup. We just have to make sure we get set up properly. I mean, Cape of Toughness actually does give Blissey a lot of HP in this matchup. Yeah, Cape of Toughness really does help us quite a bit here. Because it makes it even harder for the Eternus to one-shot up Blissey. With 300 HP, and they have to go through three of them, potentially, which will make it even harder for my opponent to win the game. So I think we, um... Yeah, yeah, I think we're chilling. We don't bench. We don't bench maybe to Dan Crobat. We'll see how it goes. It does suck they had to go first. I probably will go side power here. Ooh, no energy. That's huge. Do a stamp. Hmm. Part of me kind of wants to hold the hand because I did whip energy there. We can get rid of reset stamp and grab Blissey. And shit. Hmm. Uh, we could just hold the hand and get the rare candy Porygon. I kind of like that. They could boss my Blissey though. Yeah, I'm fine with just holding the hand. And then we can get like a Psy power off, which is pretty good. We can uh, get some damage on the E-turn to knock it out, which is good. We don't need as much energy now to knock out the Eternus VMAX. I think this is fine. I mean, they could derail my Mew. They could kill my Mew with a derail. They have another goon or two, but I don't think they're trying to do that. I think they want to get the VMAX, which they do put into play. I think it's fine to hold the hand. I don't know. We'll see. We might get punished for it. We might not. We can get Porygon Z in play. To be fair, next turn, I might just go with Blissful Blast, though. Okay, they marty me. So maybe I should have went for the, uh, the research. It's fine, though. Let's see if they whip energy here. What do we get? Okay. All right. We can go for the uh, Blissful Blast here and put a bunch of energy on our Blissey. That kind of worked out. So I guess we should have researched. To be honest, I didn't expect them to Marnie me. If we didn't really do anything with our hand anyways, I wasn't really expecting the Marnie from my opponent, but it looks like they went for the Marnie anyways. So there you go. It looks like they're struggling here to find energy. Okay. They did get the energy, but they also got the Crobat. Um, all right. I might do Psy Power. Oh, no. They're going to feed me the E-turn. Oh, no. That could be bad. So now we can't go with the Blissey without finding a air balloon. Hmm. Yeah, I have to find air balloon, which is a little annoying. We have two in the deck. Yeah, they're in there. I could just dig for air balloon here. Could do Crobat. I guess. We gotta find air balloon. That crushing hammer sucks, man. That sucks. No air balloon. Yeah, big rip. I just research, I guess. Fine. Air balloon? One time? No. Yeah, we got cape, though. No rare candy? Um. Yeah, not good. We'll just pass. That's unfortunate. I was really hoping we could get the air balloon. We could have gone Porygon Z rare candy. So I actually had a decent amount of outs there to move the Mew. So that is a little unfortunate. I have a bad feeling my opponent might have the knockout here on my Mew. If they have one more Galarian Zigzagoon, they can kill my Mew. Which would suck. Then they potentially can get two prizes. Or even three if they knock out Crobat. So that just sucks. No, there's the goon. Yeah. No, they get a Crobat. Okay, nice. So they have to knock out Mew with the Eternatus uh, then. Yeah, it sucks they had to get that Crushing Hammerhead. Because we did just whip and miss out on a Blissey hit here. But they have to dread end my Mew. I mean, just a tad overkill on the knockout there. Just, just a tad. Um, okay. Let's promote Blissey. Rare Candy top deck one time. All right, that's cool. We can uh, definitely use that for sure. Do this. We'll save Cram, yeah. There might be benefits to Cram in this matchup. Let's take out one of the other Porygons we really need. And we'll research. Can we find a Rare Candy Porygon? I don't think we're going to get KO. That's very unlikely. Yeah. Well, we did get the Rare Candy Porygon. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to knock them out, though. But they can't one-shot me. And we can two-shot them, which we might as well just do. So we'll just go Blissful Blast here for 90 damage. I'll just do this. Just put all that energy on Blissey. We have two lucky energies on too, which is pretty good. We could get another Porygon in play next turn if we uh, get another rare candy. 
We can just knock out the U-turn next turn. So this actually feels pretty good. Uh, we set damage up on this, so even if they go in the other return, it's, just, it's already kind of heavily damaged. So we can even knock that out, too. Okay, I like this. Bl told you Blissey's insane, but that attack is so cool. The fact you get three energy back is so, so strong. It's actually super strong. Getting those three energy back is literally insane. It is insane. I can't wait to play an expanded. See what they do here. They just have to dread end. Not what they want to see. They have 250 HP. There's a swell and there's another energy which we need. So we can go. Hmm. Wonders Labyrinth is really good in this matchup, but I think we'll just still put the swell in play. We'll just load up the Blissey with energy here. Uh. Hmm. Bench Cram. I don't, well, I don't even really know if we need Cram anymore, to be honest. At this rate, I don't know if we need it anymore. We'll just bench up another Blissey. Just kind of go all in with the Blisseys. So I think that's fine. I think this is a KO, right? If it's not, we're putting another Recycle Energy on. Just in case. Here we go. Blissful Blast. That's a knockout for sure. How much is that? 260? Okay, nice. So Blissey will go down. Oh, they could play Tool Scrapper. That would be pretty bad. I doubt they... they no one turns us to play Tool Scrapper. Oh, we got a lot of energy. Oh, that's huge. Okay. We have four energy plus two Recycles and two Draw Energies. Hmm. We could win by just knocking out this thing next turn. It is likely. My opponent could still win the game, though, by bossing my uh, Crobat. This is why I was very skeptical about mentioning Crobat or Dedenne. Oh, they have a Marnie. Rip. Hmm, how many supporters do we have left? We have one research left. We still have all of our Marnies. We don't have... Well, we'll see what we get. Okay, we got Dedenne. That works. All right, there's going to Dread Emmy. Okay. There's Wonder's Labyrinth. Hmm. So... I think my opponent does win the game, though, unfortunately, because we just can't. They're probably just going with a boss here. I think they're just going to win with a boss's order. They definitely have it. We don't have stamp anymore. Well, there's another energy. So, hmm, our only way to win is to just load Blissey up with energy. Which, I think we could. I, th I don't know if we have enough energy left. We have enough energy off of Blissful Blast, obviously. I don't think we have enough energy otherwise. Let's see. We have five in the deck. I, well, I honestly don't know if we're short or not. We're about to find out. At the very least, we should find a Marnie to try to get rid of the uh, potential boss in their hand. Yeah. Not sure we're going to be able to do 310 damage. So we, ha we have to Marnie them. I haven't even played a boss yet, though. I mean, they're probably going to win the game, right? How much are we doing right now? 40, 70... 100, 130, 160, 190. Yeah, we don't have enough energy to win. So we have to Marnie them, I think. I don't think we have enough energy in the deck to win. We're about to find out, though. We just gotta pray they don't have boss. They can't bench any Crobats currently, so if they draw the boss, they draw the boss. I can't do anything about that. Uh, we just kind of got screwed by the pooch. Here we go. How much is that? Yeah, we weren't getting a knockout, but now we can take a knockout. <laughs> Now we can take a knockout, but it's very unlikely my opponent has... I mean, they have a boss, right? They have to have a boss. There's no way they don't have a boss. They haven't even played one yet. I think it's game over. Oh, maybe not. Okay, they didn't immediately play a boss, so maybe they don't have it. Hammer doesn't really do anything for my opponent. <laughs> it literally does nothing. Oh, maybe... No, they could still go with another Returnitus, I guess. They have to have, like, a Switch and another VMAX in their hand. Okay, I think they did whip the boss. They did? Wow, okay, we have another turn to set up. Now, the problem is, can we win the game, though? How Do we have our boss? We do. They gave her my lucky energy, which is annoying. I thought they were going to have a powerful energy. Nah, they got the E-turn number two. Or th yeah, another hammer. That's not good. Do they have a switch? They got the nuts. Bro. Oh, I don't want to lose, bro. Give me a boss top deck one time. Dang it. We have the Marnie. I think we can still get him. I think we still have an energy in the deck. Let's see. Yeah, we still got an energy. There's boss. We were very close to getting it. If only, if only, if only. Hmm. 
I mean, they definitely have boss here, right? I think now they're definitely gonna have a boss. Are we knocking them out? I think this is a KO though, right? I think this is a knockout. Yeah. Piece of cake, bro. Piece of cake. Not even a chance, bro. Look at this. Look at this blissy, bro. Oh my god. Look at how much energy it has. That's insane. 13 energy on a blissy. Yeah, that blissy's insane, man. This card is actually it's actually <laughs> Oh man, it's so fun. Yeah, I'm a fan of Blissey. I ship it. I definitely want to try Blissey out and expand. I think in expanded, Blissey has a lot of potential. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Anyways, I'll arrive at the HP show video, guys, on the Blissey V deck. Um, it's a lot of fun to play. I think, uh, like, Blissey's insane. Like, I say it's a lot of fun to play, but this is actually a lot of fun to play. Um, I don't know what else I'd really change about my list, to be honest. I wouldn't mind a second swell just to counter Path the P, because you saw in that Dragapult game, it was kind of annoying. Um... I don't know what else I'd really add. What do you guys think could be added? I don't really know. I mean, I don't know if there's any other Pokemon you could add because it's just all about using Blissey. Um, and I like having four Blissey in the deck because it gives you less chance to turn a Crobat or a Dene, if you know what I mean. So I don't know. Um, I, Lucky Energy might be a better card to add more. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like on the video, subscribe below if you're new to the channel. Help me in the road to reaching 17,000 subscribers. Check out Card Cabin down below. Use Scroll DF. Uh, check out the socials. And I will see you guys in another Chilling Rain video tomorrow.